be vacation. Myself, oh. allow me to fresh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I can't give myself. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's get this. Subscribe to DVS Mike. If not, what are you waiting for? Hmm, this is yummy. So, this is the final result of our bacha. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe for more videos. What you giving, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be. Hi guys, welcome back to our kitchen. So on today's episode, we are going to be making a bacha. And in here, it's our ingredient. We are going to start from the main abacha itself. So this is our abacha. It's still soaked in the water. Red oil, spinach, fish, <laughs> salt and maggi, mayopaka. What is it? The, the English name? I will tell you in future, <laughs> but in my dialect is opaka. This is potage, which you can call a cow in my dialect. So this is our onion and fresh pepper, crayfish, and our ogre. Yes. So this ogre, I cannot, <laughs> I cannot remove it from here, so it will not spoil the smell of the house first before we start cooking. So this is how I, I actually buy it from the African shop. So this is ogiri. And in here, and in here we have our bomo already boiling. So the next step I'm going to do is to add in fish to this our bomo. Yes, everything is getting ready already. Yeah. So the next thing I've already added the fish. The fish is missing already. So it's already added into the boiling pot. So now we are going to filter out our abacha. Then we we'll get into the business of today. So I've filtered the abacha out of the water. So I'm going to be introducing to you guys my akodo. <laughs> I have akodo, but I don't have muta. So I'm going to be pounding my pepper in here. Hold on. So into this my boiling pomo, I'm going to be adding in my opaka. So into this our pomo pot, I'm going to be adding in potash to it. So I have washed out my pepper. I've washed it before. I'm just going to be removing the this here. <laughs> so my pepper and so I added in a few of our crayfish. So that pepper I So I'm going to be pounding it. Don't worry, the glass, the plate is not going to break. pause this pepper because we are going to be adding water to our potage so now we have to add in water to the potage we continue our pounding we have already added in water into our potage i mix a mixture of hot water and lukewarm water so it's hot okay guys now we are going to be I'm going to be, this is my own way of making my abacha. So in case if you are from any good state or other state, don't say which kind of abacha you do. So I'm going to be adding in here salt in to the pepper and crayfish. And still like pound them together with the fresh pepper and crayfish. So now I'm going to be adding in my potash. Most of them are dissolved, which is what I need. I'm going to be adding them. And red oil. Yes, so are you seeing the over of this abacha? Yeah. So we are going to cover it for in a very low heat to draw it together, to be to bond together. And bits by bits. So now it's my red oil turn. So I'm going to be adding in my red oil to it. More of the potash, which is a come into it. And now my ogiri. I'm going to be adding my ogiri now. 
at this junction. <laughs> hey. So, hmm. so I did this my this old green Yeah. So the next thing is to pour in my abacha into the mixture. So if you are hearing the sound from the other side, we already frying our pepper. So now is the abacha time. Hmm. Okay. So it's abacha. So I think I don't know if I should change it to a bigger bowl or I should still be managing this book because it's not giving me chance to mix this abasha to my own how i want it oh so our fish and the uba is still getting ready so we are still mixing it so that it will get it will give us what we want into it. Still on the mixing of the abacha. So most of them, it's well mixed together. Now, I added in more maggi and salt. Yeah. So now, let's test if the maggi and salt is... If we enter. Obara. Okay, guys. So now it's seven time. Let's serve this our batcha. First of all, let's do give it one more room. One more turning. So we can serve it out. Okay. Going to step this one aside for the kids. <laughs> yeah. So that what that we have been preparing since that time. It's also ready. Yes. So. So, and our fish that we have been frying that is making noise since in the background equally it's time for it to equally come out so I learned, I learned, I learned how to make this uba from Miri and DK's channel if you haven't subscribed to Miri and DK quickly subscribe for more videos because I'm learning a lot from her channel I learned this over from her channel because I've been wondering how they tell they do this uba self. This uba, especially this abasha own. So now we add in our spinach. Oh my god, they go still see the face of this abasha. <laughs> it's well loaded. Our onion. I could have added onion when I'm when I'm mixing the abacha, but I just say let me add it on top because my not everyone knows how to eat uh, abacha uh, onions, raw onion, and our remaining crayfish. In Miriam and DK's video, she fried the crayfish, but my dear, <laughs> I don't want to fry it because here yeah, it goes spoiled. This is how I just. And hula, our batcha is ready. Yes, so, so, this is our abacha. Okay, so make your choice. This or this. So now is the end of this video. Hope you learned from this, our abacha. Now it's time for cleaning. <laughs> Hope you learned from this video. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't mind my hand. Subscribe. Click on that red button below. If you haven't subscribed, Please subscribe. Love you guys.